Hey guys, hope your week's finishing off well. We're going to t finish the week talking about Instagram. So we're going to briefly dive into Instagram and how you can use it for your business. If you have not watched the previous videos from this week and last week, definitely go ahead and do that. We talked about Facebook. We finished that off earlier this week. We then dove into Twitter, talking about how to use it, a bit about it, some of the benefits of using it, and then really how to apply it to your Young Living business. And now we're going to do the same thing with Instagram. So Instagram will be broke down into two different videos. Today we'll do a high overview of it. And then on Monday or Tuesday of next week, we will then dive into more details of how to use it for your business. After that, we'll be diving into Pinterest. So make sure you watch these because they all kind of add upon each other. So just a couple fun facts, right? What is Instagram? As many of you know, it's a social media platform designed to share pictures and videos using a smartphone. Um, you can't really use it from your computer. It's not like Facebook, so make sure you do have a phone. It's really designed to just kind of snap and go. So take a quick picture, take a quick video, post that, okay? Um, one of the great things about Instagram is it is owned by Facebook. This allows you the ability to run advertisements on both platforms. So when you're running advertisements on Facebook, it does give you an option to click running this for Instagram as well. This is great to really maximize the amount you're spending and get your ads ran on both platforms. Now, in order for it to be seen on both, you do have to make sure you pay attention to the images because Instagram is a photo social media app and so it is a bit pickier about the pictures you use. So make sure you pay attention to that, but it is a great way to maximize your marketing budget. The other thing that I love about Instagram is it has 600 million monthly active users. This is a huge audience and it's something that you really can't afford to miss out on, right? It's as simple as posting a picture and reaching different people. And so we'll talk more about that reach and how to do that. But definitely, if you're not using Instagram for your business, it's something that you need to be using. Um, Facebook did just say that they're actually changing Instagram here recently, and it's going to be much more user-friendly, and there's going to be a lot of new features. So it is constantly changing. It's something to really understand, to know, and to put into practice. Okay, so how do I use Instagram? So many people ask me this question all the time. It's really simple, guys. It's as simple as opening the app, taking a picture or a video, and then posting it. Some of the things that you want to do, you want to make sure that you have quality images. You want to make sure that your images look good. They get people's attention because that's what they see. You don't have a ton of text, so you want to make sure that you really grab their attention with your Instagram post. Your videos as well need to be fun. They need to be entertaining. They don't need to be like this full-on long story of what's happening in your life, like that doesn't really attract attention, okay? Be fun and be creative with it. Really enjoy what you're doing and let people see that. If they can see fun pictures, if they can get excited about that, it's gonna make a huge difference. Use hashtags, okay? So make sure, make sure you use your hashtags like we talked about yesterday. Same principle as Twitter. Research the trending hashtags and try to tie those into your posts as much as possible. It makes a huge difference with visibility and it really does impact your business. Okay, um, small and capturing text, if any. So if you're going to use any text at all to explain your images, keep it small, keep it short. Don't go crazy with this because people aren't looking for long stories on Instagram. They're just looking at pictures, okay? Um, make sure you have a good balance between personal and business post. So unlike Facebook where you're going to have that separate page, you are going to run it together on Instagram. So be smart. If you post a picture of like a diffuser, talk about that diffuser from a personal perspective, how you're using it, what you're doing with it, so on and so forth. Don't necessarily do this post and say buy a kit. Like that's just not what Instagram is for. So have action shots. Show how you're using the product. Show how you're using the oils. Show what you're doing with the Young Living products in your life, not as much as just, here's a kit, buy it, okay? Um, remember, use images of wild products as well in your background. So let's just say, for instance, you're, you're walking your dog or you're bathing your dog. Well, the picture is focused on your dog. and In the background, there might be some of the animal line in the background of your image a bit out of focus, okay? This is a great way to promote that picture and to promote that product without really having to push it down people's throats. That is how you have to use Instagram. Be creative with how you're taking your pictures and the products that you're using and make sure that it works from there. 
Also, again, use your trending hashtag. So if you're going to do a picture of a dog in a bath and you have your animal care stuff in the background, use some hashtags that are going to get it seen. Sometimes pick random hashtags that may not have anything to do with it. So like do a politics or something trending in the news. I don't know, whatever it may be. Just pick something that's totally not relevant and your post is now going to show up there. So when people are searching through that, you now stand out. This is a great way to get noticed, okay? So today's video, like I said, it's going to be short, sweet. Here's a couple great points and things to remember as you're using Instagram. Next week, we're going to dive in with more examples and step-by-steps on how to use it for your business and things that I do in my business and really how to use it to help increase volume and define signups. So this weekend, take a couple minutes, take out your phone, Take a couple pictures, post it to Instagram, and see what happens. It is so easy to get followers on Instagram. It's crazy because people love pictures. Have fun with it. Have a great weekend. We'll chat soon.